a decker after defeat to Middlesex here at Beckenham. Mark, you and I were chatting the other day and you were saying, well, that I thought there was more runs in the wicket than perhaps the two teams got on Wednesday. And I, I guess so it proved in the end today. But unfortunately for you guys, it was Middlesex that managed to, to get to your score. And fairly easy to see where it went wrong for you guys today. Yeah, I think so. I think first, if you just go back to the wicket, you know, we chatted with the ground and he, he spoke about leaving a, a little bit more thatch on it to hold it together because you the same wicket over four days and he took that off and it's turned out to be an absolute belter. In terms of, did we under club? Absolutely. We, you've got to own those moments, you know, 210 on that wicket. We're under, cup, under clubbing by at least 100. The guys recognise that and um, easy to... It's human nature to want to make those excuses, but we can't. We've got to have a good look at it and say, OK, why did we under club? How do we find those extra runs? You know, is it execution? Is it management of the game? Whatever it is. But I honestly think that the blokes are honest enough and um, sort of professional enough to address it. And, you know, if where it needs to be owned, we'll own it. Where do you think they sort of went wrong with the bat? Because obviously Marcus are in and got you off to a fine start. Yeah, so what we're 70, 70 odd for one off the power play, and then between overs 10 and 15, we lose those, or 10 and 20, we lose four wickets. Um, did they, and we lost them to spin. I think we had three guys losing wickets to spin. Could we have been a little more game smart there? Uh, if, you know, I, I, I know there's this um, theory about, you know, do it your way, but I also think you've got to judge the wicket. Do you need to be sweep, sweeping on Beckham early? Can you own downtown? Um, I think Cracknell showed it beautifully. Uh, uh, Parky, he just kept taking him along, earned the right to go square on that wicket. Um, and, yeah, we'll have those honest conversations and, you know, at least have a debate about it. Uh, that, you know, I think that's, that's the key. If you can have a debate and eventually you'll start finding the answers that we're looking for. And I guess with the ball, because Cracknell had such a good start, it was hard to create that pressure you needed. And in the end, you got those two quick wickets, but that was... Too yeah. little, too late, I guess. Ben, honestly, I, I think our, our bowlers have been absolutely brilliant. They've stepped up to the plate um, every time we've we've played. We've played four games now, and they have not let us down in any phase. Um, what what we were asking them to do and, and try win a game with only two hundred on the board, I, I can't say a bad, a bad word about them. You know, parky has got to try bowl with hundred runs to play with. I think that's difficult for a spinner. I think our bowlers have been absolutely magnificent. I've, I, I've, I cannot fault them and I won't fault them. We've got to put more runs on the board, simple as that. Yeah. So, uh, four games in, two wins, two defeats, how do you kind of assess it as a whole, the campaign? Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, you have this idea, look, I'd like to win my five, you know, win our five games early and then everything's in the bag. But sport's not like that. You know, every other team's trying to win. They've got their agendas, you know, and um, the middle six upset us on our agenda today, which is absolutely fine. Um, let's go for another four games. Um, you can't go um, doubting the way you want to play the game, but you can you can always try and evolve it and say what do we do to get it a little bit better. At, you know, um, I, I think we've spoken a lot about processes, so we've taken this idea of um, we win the game. It's, for us, it's all about what are we doing well to allow us to play good cricket, and therefore the win comes from that. So we sort of try to stay in the moment. It's hard to. It's, it's always easy after you win a game to get excited but I think it's when you lose a game can you keep that the same qualities that you speak about when you're winning uh, I, I think that that's that's absolutely key you've got that emotional control win or lose as, as coaching staff and I suppose as players